Many of you know me by all my books that I've written and I do credit and I'm a paralegal and I'm a talk show host. But my latest book, The Many Faces of Life, this is really my, to me personally, it's my best book and you're going you're gonna to get a little preview. And if I said to myself, if I had to interview anybody that was in this book, what would I do and who would I interview? And I didn't even have to think twice. I have a doctor a doctor that's that's out of this world and many of you I want you to think I want you to think as you're watching this not that you're going to fire your doctor because you won't but some of you will because I did and and the reason for that is many doctors out there they go by the old rule there's something wrong with you they do this and they make addicts out of you and everything happens but this doctor when I met her when I met her I have an attitude as you both know as everybody knows I have a bad attitude she had an attitude with me too. She told me what to do. I told her what to do. And I came home and I told my producer, Ron, and I said, you're not going to believe this. We don't get along. He said, Pearl, you're both alike. And I said, really? He said, yeah, you're both alike, which is good. You both say it like it is. So both of us will be good friends. Well, since that time, we became really good friends where we just opened up to each other. And I want to not just introduce her, but I want to tell you why we became good friends. Many doctors today, and you know what? I'm not prejudiced of doctors, believe me. And many people today, many people today have the same doctor that they had for years. And look what's going on with the marijuana. Look what's going on with that. A lot of people are saying, take this, don't take marijuana. Well, look at the alcohol. Look at the alcohol. We, were, we weren't allowed to drink alcohol, and now all of a sudden the government says, yeah, you're allowed to drink it because we we're taking a percent of it. Well, the same goes with marijuana. A person I was told this morning has Parkinson's. He took every medication out there and what's happening, marijuana or the, the, the oil that they're giving out is working for him. This doctor talking to her and she'll, she'll agree and disagree with me because that's what we do best, but she, she tells it like it is to the people if you like it or not. Now here's the, the interesting part. She's not from this country. She's from Russia a Russian doctor in the United States. But here's what was interesting about it. Because she's broken English, she's going to say, oh my God, I'm speaking wrong English. But no, you'll understand her, because I'll interpret her as well, because that's how blunt I am, she is. But she's, she's a different type of doctor. And the more I talked to her, she wanted to know about the United States. She wanted to know about our procedures here. And guess what? She did. She spent one year, one year in the Army, United States Army. We don't even spend one year in the United States Army, and she did because she wanted to get to know people. And yet, the American people, if you say to them, we are prejudiced, whether, whether you believe it or not, and I am, I don't care if you, you like this or doesn't like the answer. A lot of people are prejudiced, and they're prejudiced because, oh, I'm American, I have to have an American doctor. I'm, I'm Jewish, I have to have a Jewish doctor. So everything, mm -hmm. and the phones are ringing, which I love. So this is really great. She's Russian, but she cares about the people. If you ask the doctor, if you ask the doctor, especially young doctors today, they're, they're in a different category today. They, they do things, they say things, they give you prescriptions, and you really don't know. You trust them. You want to, I always say there's two problems in this country, credit and health. Well, isn't that the truth? Well, today you're going to find out the truth. I'm not telling you to change your doctor, but if you do, make sure it's her because this is interesting. I did. I did, and, and I'm so glad I did. And she's probably... You know, blushing right now or going to tell me off afterwards. But <laughs> I would like you to, I'm going to introduce Dr. Merker. Did I say your name right? Yes. Tell me about yourself. When you came into this practice, into this office here? In this practice, I started in 2002 and came from New York to Philadelphia and opened this business. No, it's not business, it's medical why practice. Did you, why did you go from New York, though? What, what were you doing in New it York? It was a lot of the different situation, my okay. family situation, and uh, uh, I decided I did not want to be uh, dependent on somebody, and I did not have enough um, money for open the office in, in New York. In um, Northeast Philadelphia, there's a lot of uh, Russian people and huge Russian community, and I didn't know how I... I will uh, create my practice. Why did you pick Philadelphia? Uh, it's very close to New York and okay. my family in New York. Okay. It's uh, comfortable. 
and it's comfortable. Now, all from 2000 when you started here, uh, how you treated me? Do you treat all your patients that way? No, when I started, I didn't have patient absolutely not. <laughs> I, no, because I, uh, one year I work in other office, in the, less than one year I work in other office in Philadelphia, and it was, was one of the uh, um, part of the contract that I could not take the patient with me in other place. In real, I didn't have any information about my, my old patient, I mean previous uh, group, and I create from zero. So you had to build up your practice here in Philadelphia. Yeah. I guess that was scary. <laughs> like everybody yes. was supposed to start something. Yes, but the, the interesting part why it was scary, you, you, you told the people, you didn't tell the people what they wanted to hear. No, definitely not. But you know, it, it usually, uh, you know, when you do something, you don't know real what you're waiting for. Mm -hmm. And you don't think about your scaring, okay? Mm -hmm. You should start. And how it happened, it happened. And I will tell you, I will tell you, uh, when she, when I came to her, I had uh, knee problems, and I still do. But you know, the average doctor, you know, would have given me everything. She doesn't give, she doesn't give pills out unless it's absolutely necessary, absolutely necessary. When she, when she sees patients like me that can't walk, but uh, and that's the first time you heard that. But the thing is, she, she says it like it is, and she looks reads into the person. Am I right? No, real, you know, because this philosophy of the osteopathic medicine. Because the patient, it's whole body. You okay. cannot separate. And uh, our task is uh, treatment uh, person, patient, but not disease. Okay. It's absolutely different. Because, you know, if you would, uh, take care of, uh, for example, high, high blood pressure, diabetes separately, but we should understand that it's one organism, okay. whole body. Okay? It's and interesting. It should be, um, we cannot uh, looking for few reasons. It should be one start. Something. What titles do you have? What titles? You're a DO, right? No. I came to this country, I was medical doctor. Okay. okay? In, I graduated from medical, medical school in Moscow. And uh, my residency was in radiology. And I was in high position in the, one of the scientific institutes of pediatrics in Russia, and... Uh, and you came here? Yes, <laughs> From came, here? Yes, I came here, and it, it was, uh, it was uh, 1990. You took a chance, didn't you? You know, I was not sure that I will be a doctor. Okay. Definitely, I did not want to do this, because I know how it hard to... You work. wanted to be a cook in a restaurant, right? No. I, I, would like, <laughs> I think that I will be close to medicine, but not a okay. real doctor, because I knew about this way. It's, okay. in, I came to this country, I was 43, and you know, it's so for uh, Russian uh, mentioned it's so late for okay. for start to begin something. Okay. And uh, after two years, I it, it was unique possibility because uh, this real unique program was open in uh, Long Island. It's uh, New York Osteopathic Medical School, and they accept uh, foreign graduate physician. And we have an advantage program not three years medical school, three, not four years, three years only. And after medical school, uh, without problem, we found a residency program, and everybody who came to the school was uh, uh, educate, educated and graduated like American graduate physician, not foreign graduate, like other physicians who came to this country. It was okay. unique chance, and I used this chance. Do um, Americans accept you? Yes. When you first came here? Yeah. Okay. And why? Why did they accept you? The same reason I did? No. They, you mean, you didn't understand the question. Like, understand. Like, did they understand, not language, though. Did they understand that you understood what their, what their problem was? No, this, you know, I, problem was only one. Mm -hmm. We came and brought our family to this country. I had two sons, 11 and 16. Okay? We thought... We thought with my husband not about only their future, we thought about our future because it's in the middle of our life, 43, 44 years old and we should start mm -hmm. something. And yes, it, it was um, a huge problem. Yeah. And we didn't have language uh, real, I, did, I knew maybe a few words in English and uh, fortunately 
the school accept, not only me, and other doctors. And we're so proud when we graduated, it was, uh, I graduated from this medical school in 1996. It was maybe, I don't remember, maybe 12 women in the world who had this, this education from Russia and from the yes. United States. It was a unique group of uh, yes. doctors. And fortunately, everybody who uh, graduated from our, this medical school, very successful, very knowledgeable, in real, very, very, very responsible for their patients. One question. Because mix. I've always asked, I've asked myself this about you. Why did you join the Army? The uh, United States you know, Army. <laughs> myself and my friend, when we graduated from medical school, we, and you know, there's a lot of uh, different company and we uh, came to this before graduation. It was um, um, represented from Army, from, um, from uh, Air Force. Yes. Yeah. And suddenly we decide maybe we will, we, will, uh, we we can continue our um, uh, not edu real education because it was graduation from medical school, mm -hmm. and uh, we thought about residency program. Maybe we will take this re residency. No, unfortunately, um, um, representative said, said that there is no limit of age, but uh, they prefer people, especially women, younger than forty-five. Okay. Okay. And I would, when I uh, finished my residency program, uh, it happened that I had had ch chance to try in army. And I went to this uh, army. It was uh, Fort, Fort Leonard in state Missouri. And I was in the clinic of family, like family practitioner. And when I came, they asked me what can I do. I answered absolutely, I can do everything. But it, it was not true. But you know, this time I, I teach the. Uh, except everything. That's interesting. You see, I do credit, as you know. And if I went to Russia, I think I'd be a little bit intimidated. At first, I'd be intimidated uh, at the beginning. But you came here, you were scared, but you, you made it through to saying, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this. Not real. You know, not real. Because my friend, um, who, who I knew from 2000, uh, 1970, uh, from the, my medical school in Moscow, real. She was the same, like you said. I, I must, I must, I must. Mm -hmm. And when I came, and she told me, "You have to sit and start, start to study." I said, "No, no, 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 never ever, because you know I cannot, and I don't know English. No, 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 no." And she said, "This is book. <laughs> is this book. I can show you this book. You see, right? and." more than 3,000 pages. You should read this. And I start. You did? Yeah. Oh my God. You can, you can see this book at yes, anywhere. Yes, I see you it. Can, yellow uh, marker everywhere. Because I didn't know every word. Every word I translate from English to Russian. <laughs> and I'm so, no, yes, to, because I, I couldn't remember, you know. I, yes. I didn't have classes, uh, English classes I didn't take. And everything goes by myself. I have to say, if I had to choose it from one to ten, I would still I would choose you, because you're upfront. You say it like it is, and and there's a lot of doctors out there. They're not like the olden days where they came to your house and stuff like that. You actually tell a patient like it is, and I didn't like you at the beginning. You didn't like me at the beginning because you told me like it was. Walk, get up and walk. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to my producer, "How dare her?" <laughs> but it worked. Because it's just because my producer said to me, "You're both alike. You say it like it is, and so it's shape." And then I realized something: that if I either hate myself or like myself, what I do, and I did, and that's what I seen in you. Mm, you know, again, patient and myself, it, two different fields. Okay, okay. and uh, I, I, I can be honest. I hate. Uh, say it like it is. My peers, okay. I don't like come to the okay. doctor. Okay. Yes. And real, I take care of myself by myself, usually. And sometimes I, I ask. No, how come friends. you don't like your peers? How come? No, okay. The communication is okay. Okay. But you know, uh, I think that uh, level of my knowledge, uh, we have. I, I think we have the same um, level of knowledge, and I think that I can evaluate myself. By myself, and I don't need uh, uh, use time of my colleague. Okay. okay, 
And if I come to, to them, I, I uh, bring my idea. And I, but it's need that time, you know, how, how much time I spend to my patient. Yes. Because it, it's need. Uh, and doctors don't. Doctors don't. It's all money, 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 money. Sometimes yes, sometimes some no. You know, yeah. unfortunately, yes. I, uh, Do you I feel the doctors of today are money, money, money? Yes, like, unfortunately. I, I've always said that. Unfortunately, the first time yes. the doctor said it. And I disagree absolutely that medicine cannot be, uh, should not be uh, business. Medicine, okay. it's real, it's my opinion, it's art, okay? okay. It's, I cannot say that it's uh, science, scientific, but it's uh, need time, need involvement uh, to patient problem. And again, I repeat that because patient, it's whole body. Okay. It's not only a small problem, okay? And I hate when patient came and he told me that I need script for this or for that. Or that. I should understand why. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, um, it's not real when I discontinue some medication because I don't, read, I don't see reason for this. And, uh, you know... But they respect you more for it. Not, all, not always. Not always, not because always. they want to no, get what they want. It depends, okay, psychologically it depends what patient, pay, not patient, person want. Sometimes person wants to, to feel uh, himself or herself sick. Or you high. Know, psychologically. Or high. Okay, and somebody, very sick person, but say that I'm healthy. Yeah. And I hate this style. Yeah. To be sick and I don't need uh, support, uh, you know, uh, when people asking me how are you, because it's, if they can help, they will do this. I was talking to a person this morning in uh, Georgia, and, uh, and she, this one guy is paraplegic. Mm. They've been giving him everything and nothing helped. One thing helped is the cannabis, I think it's called cannabis oil, marijuana, mm. in other words. It's the only thing that helped him. And he's not on drugs, he's, he's not addicted. But all the pills that they gave him, he now it feels like himself again. And these are only a few handful of doctors that are doing this. You know, definitely cannot be a um, um, uh, straight reason of this problem. Mm -hmm. Because uh, real, I, I knew an old person, I mean, person who 92, 94, um, they suffering, they suffer, suffering a lot because they understand what this end very close, yeah, okay? Yeah. And they suffer from, from this. And marijuana re help them re yeah. emotionally. But I, I can reject and I can um, say that don't do this, don't, don't take it. It's life. Yeah. But other problem, when I see reports from, from um, a lot of facility, if patient came with pain, Headache, low back pain, and immediately, no marijuana, I did not see, but immediately uh, opioid medication. Okay. Okay? And I think it's our responsibility. Yeah, I see that's always the way it's supposed to be. Your responsibility as a doctor, and there's a lot of doctors that, that aren't doing this. As a matter of fact, though, I heard a humor this morning uh, with my producer. His mother died of cancer, and uh, his mother, the doctor, gave her... Uh, Percocet, every you five different pills, mm -hmm. morphine, mm -hmm. and the funny part about it is, she said to her family, "Am I going to get addicted?" And she's done. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> she only had only a couple it's, weeks to yeah, live, yeah. and she said, "Am I going to get addicted?" And I said, "That is funny. I have to say that on the air because a lot of people just think when they hear drugs and stuff, they think they're going to get addicted." You know that in life it can be white and black. Yeah. Okay, it's smashing cars. And yes, I, it's very, very often when people, uh, patients, when I prescribe something, or not, not opioid medication, some other medication, will I be addicted to this medication? <laughs> you know, it's, very, it's always funny, but it's from the beginning funny. When you try to explain that you need it, yeah. and you know, and yeah. every time I explain the same, that when we take bread mm -hmm. and we take water, we addicted to this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the, the same story with medication. If yeah. you, you, we have two hands, and you can wait, okay? If our problem so uh, deep and we suffering from this, we should pay for this, I for agree. our con uh, comfort. Okay? Yes. And medication on short period of time can help you. 
and the same, like pain pill. I, I'm not talking about opioid medication, about Advil, ibuprofen, Motrin. It's very da dangerous for stomach. Okay, maybe danger for stomach, but if you suffer, what do you want? It's not uh, computer. They read it on the computer. Absolutely, it's terrible. It's, it's, it's like it's, I know what you're saying because they do it with the credit thing too. I said I've been doing this for thirty years. You didn't do your homework, and just like what you just said, oh, it could make my stomach bleed. It could make this. How do they know? <laughs> you know, the first time uh, I had this problem in army, one patient came to me and brought this brochure. She printed this from uh, on the computer. He said, you know, I have disease, definitely you don't know about it. And could you please read before and I in next next visit you will answer. And uh, I asked her, I don't remember what uh, disease she had. And said, you know, unfortunately, fortunately I know about this. No, 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 you cannot know because I only print this from the computer. Okay, you know, it's it's terrible. I know it is, it's getting it's, worse too. It's very you know, it's um, we should spend a lot of time which we don't have for explanation why. Yeah. Because if you read the computer, you definitely, if you, this article, you never found name, signature, who wrote this article. Mm -hmm. And the person who print this, put in the, on the, online, he is not responsible. It's general. See, this is why I wrote my last book. Uh, all the misinformation that people are getting and this is all, and one of them is the doctors, that's why I'm interviewing you. I always say there's two problems in this country, credit and health, and doctors and lawyers, I mean, they're getting a bad rap, and, and I know one good, uh, one good lawyer right now, and you're the one good doctor, and people have to know this and not say, oh yeah, I have my, 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 the one I go to every week, but I'm not happy, I'm not happy with, I'm not happy. Well, if they're not happy, do something about it, just like I did, just like I did. You know, again, I'm talking now about my mission, my thing, feeling my, um, but real, you can evaluate me. Mm -hmm. I can evaluate my patient, okay? And if it's much happened, it's good. It's, it's not always. Yes. Yes. It's, it's not how many, how many Americans? How many Americans' patients do you, you have with the percent? Uh, you know, it's it changed because uh, when I, I started my, my office, it was six, uh, 16 years ago, I did not have. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, after a few years, I, uh, I hold not, not a lot, real, not a lot. Maybe it was 20%. Wow. Not more. And definitely, you know, they feel, I mean, American native feel more and more comfortable with American and uh, language uh, problem, mentality problem, because, you know, um, when, okay, when, we in, uh, when I had residency program, and uh, it was ruled that we should uh, make diagnosis near the uh, bed for two, three minutes, okay? And usually we, I mean, Russian speaking, I mean, Russian physician, we thought, we discussed, and it was take uh, much more time than two, three minutes, but our colleague uh, from India, because it was the same, the same um, uh, teaching process in India like in the United States, and they do this like mm -hmm. first, 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 definitely they uh, um, by by heart repeat everything that was printed in the book. Do you think it's fair? I don't, I can't tell you know maybe, but we more analyze because we didn't have a lot of uh, medical support. I mean this uh, equipment mm -hmm. and in Russia, and for this reason we we thought we analyzed more than now. Now it's the work like algorithm. You know, when I wanted to put this show, when I wanted, when I wanted to put this interview together, I was talking to uh, one Russian, and her husband was a doctor mm -hmm. in Russia, she said, and when he came over here, he was a dishwasher in a restaurant. No one wanted to hire him. And that's pretty sad. Pretty sad. So, because he, like, he's an expert. He was an expert in Russia. I don't understand why people... Like, I even asked her, why did you come here to the United States if he was a doctor in Russia? But she said, because everybody believes the United States has it all. No, you know, it's uh, not it, a lot of different way because I, I, I now know a um, few doctors who uh, passed exam but did not found residency. They spent three, four, four years for study 
he did not found a residency program, mm -hmm. okay? And I know no family uh, uh, where husband and wife were doctor in Russia, and one of them uh, continued education in, uh, in, in our school or, not, or passed the exam, but other support family. You know, wow. it's, it's, it's... Well, you're doing it's, good. I think you're doing good what you're doing. I think it's meant to be. I think it was God's way that for even for me to meet you, I'll be honest with you. So maybe it was meant to be, even for my niece, uh, <laughs> that I come in here because out of the clear blue sky, there's many doctors in here. I mean, for so I believe everything is meant to be for a reason. Uh, I'm not going to cut this short, but get to the point because she has she has an appointment uh, today, uh, real close with me, <laughs> right? So she's got a and she's got appointments all day today. I, I hope this shows the people, and not just Philadelphia area not just Northeast Philadelphia area, but even Jersey area that watches this by saying, you know what, let me take a chance. I did, I did, and it worked. It worked, and I hope everybody out there listens and says, let me take a chance. They have in New Jersey, they have, uh, like I know, a few doctors from our medical school, from our group, it's very, very knowledgeable, high professional doctors, okay? They can found it. If you, they, somebody see this uh, uh, science, MDDO, it's definitely a doctor from Russia. It's very, very um, rare it was from uh, South America. We had a few uh, people from South America in our, in our group, but the main contingent, it was Russian. If you see MDDO, 99% it's Russian with uh, double education. What about the people that are prejudiced? What about the people that are prejudiced saying, oh, they want everything for nothing. They're coming in this country and we got it here. What do you think about those people that are prejudiced? Oh, oh you know, it's it's huge problem. It, 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 it now problem of the discrimination. United States. Discrimination. discrimination. It's real. It has, it's it take place. You know what bothers me about that? This discrimination, and yet everybody thinks an attorney does it all. Just like a doctor or a surgeon. Like, I'm seeing, they, they separate the doctors, the, the attorneys, but the attorneys are different. And, and people, like, as you say, they stick to their own kind. Well, let's go, oh, no, no, I don't speak Russian, so I'm not going to go. They're not looking at their health. They're not looking at the overall picture. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want them to think the way I think, but I wish they would look at the overall picture by saying, let me see, let me see what this doctor is all about, you know? Mm -hmm. I didn't understand company, company Well, something. like for, for all the doctors, for all the doctors that I choose, there's a lot of doctors in the Philadelphia area, many doctors in the field. Why I came to this job and said I'll never know, never know. I'm glad I did, but a lot of people think that way. They'll think, well, I'm going to stay with my doctor till the day I die. Oh, yes. It's, and they're treated uh, wrong, no, and they go to their doctors only there for two minutes. The doctors only looking at them for two real. minutes. I know this. Probably with patients stay in waiting carry three hours and, be, and they will not change the doctor because they used to him and they can ne never will change. No, what can we do? Okay, I cannot say that I am the best. People come to me. No, because number one, uh, I don't like. I hate when somebody is waiting for me. Okay. Okay, and you know that we have very very uh, accurate schedule. Yeah. And if. Somebody waiting for me more than 10 minutes, I'm so nervous. You get nervous? Okay. Yeah, I'm very nervous. And an, an average doctor doesn't? An average doctor doesn't. And uh, you, know, you know that usually every six every uh, 30 minutes, okay, I have patients. It's unusual practice. Okay. It's really unusual because, again, it, medicine is not... Is this your... Is this... I don't know who is it. it are you in the hallway? I'm so sorry, maybe patient, I'm so sorry, oh, maybe somebody came. Okay. Oh, oh, tell her, tell her, Hi, you. you sit, come here, one second. You're going to sit beside her for one second. You didn't second. finish yet? Yes, yes, I'm going to finish one second. Uh -huh. Now, you, I'm sure you know how I, you know, treasure yeah, her, yeah. treasure you too. What made you want to work here for a Russian doctor? Uh, to get um, more experience, and I think Russians understand each other um, better. A lot more than Americans? Yeah. Well, either way. What nationality are you? 
I'm Uzbek, but they speak Russian. Oh, they speak Russian. Yes, Russian okay. is like my first language. Okay. But okay. Uzbekistan it was part of the Russia, Russian the, uh, Soviet Union. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's one of the republic, but now it, it's separate uh, country. Well, she's not going to fire you, but what, what do you think of her as a doctor? <laughs> she's a very nice. <laughs> she, cannot, she doesn't know me like the doctor. She knows me like boss. Yeah? Yeah. Like the boss. She's, she's, she's not my patient. <laughs> See, I told you she's not going to fire you. <laughs> no, she's a very nice person. Actually. Introduce yourself. Introduce myself? Like my name is? Yes. Yeah. My name is Rano. Uh, I was born in 1997. I came to the United States four years ago. And um, right now I'm a current student of Bucks County Community College and my major is biology. And I want to become a It's far questionable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pharmacist, but there is a big question mark. Well, there's few of her. So mm -hmm. I think if there's a question mark, I think that should do it because uh, she should be directing you, and she is directing you. She is you. actually, yeah. I see it. I see it. She, you know, she speaks highly of you, and vice versa, and that should be your not just a pharmacist. So many pharmacists around. You know? And so what? <laughs> it's it good or bad for patient? Yeah, it's good or bad for it patient. Good, but it. you know, again, it's it's business. It's very very it's business strong as usual business. with it. I'm I'm really glad I came to introduce you know to interview you. And finally, I'm glad you came too. Uh, Thank you. She's going to be late for an appointment, uh, a patient, which is me. So <laughs> we're going to end this right now. Thank you. And anything Thank you want to say, say it. No. <laughs> Every single time. You What's know. your address here? What's your address here? Here? Yeah. 842 Red Line Road, Unit 7. And if somebody wants to call, what, what's the number they would call? 215-677-6616. Repeat it again. Two one five six seven seven six six one six. That's in case if somebody wants an appointment, you know, just for curiosity's sake, and I think they will. But okay, if you we are talking about um, uh, office, I should tell that uh, real I'm family practitioner, and I uh, like you know, this uh, osteopathic medicine, and I use this osteopathic medicine, and everything that was uh, I get from from this osteopathic medical school. And I think that's very, very successful way. And there's never a waiting room. I've noticed there's never a waiting room. You take the patients right there. Where you go to another doctor's office, they wait and wait and wait and wait. And there's never a waiting room in here. Never. That's because of you, your mentality. Thank you again. Thank you again. And I, I will maybe answer your question. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I hope, you, I hope she answered everybody uh, here as well. All right. Signing off. Signing off. Dr. Merkel's office. She said it like it was. Okay.